All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Infi versus Fly. Infi spawn and choosing random and spawning as the Red Night Elf here in the bottom right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, on the um, top left hand side of the map, we see Fly spawning as the Yellow Orc. I wake up at 12 p.m. and I'm still tired. Well, you probably like what go to bed at three in three a.m. Um, and yeah, I, I remember when I was in um, my my schedule in in college was really different than than a lot of other people. Um, since I worked, um, well, since I worked to try to support myself through college, and it was it was tiring. I I I, I had shifts that would start at like six thirty in the morning, right? So, you know, you're like and, and in college. Like you have a 6:30 shift, okay? So that means you wake up at like 5:45. You try and get to the dining hall by six, eat eat breakfast, and then get into get into work, um, or you know, eat something before heading off in, into work. So a, a bit tiring there. Anyways, well, it's been so many years since I'm out of college, and I'm still thinking about it. I, I don't know. I guess I guess that would that means it's a big in, impact on your on my life. I was able to sleep long. How long do I sleep? Uh, I usually, I usually sleep about uh, seven, eight hours with kids, with kids crying in the middle of the night. All right, well, let, let's take a look at what's going on here. Keeper of the Grove and um, Peon going to spot that it is going to be a wisp here. Off to the top the left, we are looking at a Voodoo right. Lounge Blade Master. It's over a Farseer first, or even a Shadow Hunter here on a Terranus stand, and Grunts will be added. Blade Master already on the move, selling that Squirrel of Town Portal fairly quickly, and then making its way out. Nope, not a warrior. If I was a warrior or if I was a bit more disciplined, I would actually do a little bit of exercising um, and r try and, well, do a little bit of running before I head out the door. All right, Blade Master with Windwalk and Scroll oh, of Speed uh, trying to make up that difference here as the Forest Troll Shadow Priest is picked up. Keeper of the Grove going to try and finish off some of these units. What is going on here? Forest Troll Shadow Priest picked off by his opponent. There's an Abolish Magic there trying to finish off that Forest Troll Shadow Priest. Is going to be able to do that, trying to get in some heals as it looks as though that Forest Troll Shadow Priest will end up getting taken down. Meanwhile, back down to the south here, Blade Master uh, able to get some easy kills. A lot of Frost armor however cast across all of those units making it difficult for the blade master to try and finish things off ancient of war also lost as well so fly with quite the advantage at right out of the gates here as who's going to get that last bit of experience oh it, oh, trying. Who's gonna get that last hit? Bla a keeper of the grove for the blade master. Blade master gets the last hit there, and now going after, trying to go after this blade. Uh, well, trying to go after the blade master again. 190 hit points. Keeper of the grove sitting at 179. Needs to use those moonlows. Heal back up. Make its way back off to the north. As we're looking at the apprentice wizards falling at the hands of the blade master, picking up gauntlets of ogre strength plus three. Are we gonna see an entangle? No, we are not. No entangle in time. A blade master able to head back off to the north. Again, Archer takes a windwalk strike, trying to hide itself. We'll be able to do exactly that. Forest Troll Berserker was trained up as well. Who's going to take that damage? Keeper of the Blade Master. Ooh. Ooh. All right. If you did not know, there's a reveal. Blade Master gets taken down. All right. So a little bit of a greedy play. Infi. Infi able to use the reveal um, to find his opponent's Blade Master. And th this reveal is at the Goblin Laboratory off over here, very far side. Infi having the foresight to um, reveal the Blade Master, taking the Blade Master out. Blade Master actually um, also a little bit blessed as it's going to be back up to full hit points fairly fast and only gave a little bit of experience since it was only sitting at level one. Very greedy Blade Master as we're looking at the Rogue Wizard but trying to um, Rogue Wizard trying to break its way free here. Can that you get used one bit of frost armor? Come on, one more attack. There it goes. Picking up that gloves of haste. Blade Master already back out here on the battlefield. And that's one of the benefits um, of, I guess, losing or having a level one hero. Just the amount of time. Um, the amount of time it is down 
getting resurrected is very easy only 170 gold and it seems to resurrect extremely quickly keep with the grove seeing that level two may want to try and get into level three are we looking at the shadow hunter already we are i still don't see a war mill as of yet and are we getting up a second hero from infi tree of ages is already done and it is gonna be a panda all right, Pandoran, um, Brew, Pandoran Brewmaster making its way out off to the north here. We are looking at the Keeper of the Grove. Are they perhaps going to try and clear out this creep camp here? Keeper of the Grove is going to be able to get to level 3, Breath of Fire. I don't know, it feels like Breath of Fire foot should automatically, like, thematically burn or, or remove Frost Armor. All right, like, like, like I, I, I don't know. I guess you could, can you be affected by a cold tower and have a breath of fires that damage over time on you at the same time um are under all right like it's, it's like yes i'm too hot and too cold all at the same time keeper of the grove now making its way back off to the north here shadow hunter is out here onto the battlefield are we perhaps going to get some entangles are we going to get into an engagement here there is an entangle and a surround blade master may try and wind walk push out the blade uh, wind walk push out the shadow hunter as the four troll shadow priest easily taken out there goes a quick hex there is also an entangle right there there's threat the fire going across more multiple units as one grunt is taken out and one four troll berserker taken out as well level three level one going up against level three level one and the keeper of the grove with very with a very very active entangle taking down unit after unit but another force troll berserker gonna get taken out as well both sides um, dealing quite a bit of damage to the other player panda is in position here keeper of the grove there's a breath of fire adding in some damage on to the shadow hunter as well and there is a deny right there the shadow hunter finishing off the unit as the brewmaster now trying to make its way back out scroll of town portal gonna exit this fight here back home they go tree of life about well 25 percent of the way seat. done meanwhile both sides with very small armies after that uh, what, what, what i will call an army exchanging battle both sides losing a large number of their own units Breath the fire coming in brewmaster will be able to get the level two is he going to be going for drunken brawler or breath of a uh, drunken brawler or drunken haze that is the question next hasn't really shown an anything there no reveal um i i well un, i don't know where infi tried to reveal here um, i would have suspected that it would have been the expansion location but he's already gotten an archer into that place infi does have the tree of life right behind a forest troll berserker about to get well gonna get finished off here level three level two going up against a level three level one shadow hunter very close to um, or getting closer to level two though as that kobold taskmaster should get um, taken down pretty easily giving level two to that shadow hunter here meanwhile down to the south keeper of the grove mantle of intelligence double gloves of haste doesn't really help out all that much panda does opt, opt to go for drunken haze with that breath of fire meaning it will run out of mana fairly quickly looking to engage against that renegade wizard there is an entangled renegade wizard um, a bit of a bit of oh, slow poison here are we gonna see a breath of fire oh nope no breath of fire panda was in mid breath of fire to finish it off but in comes the hex followed by the blade master blade master able to um, able to get that final kill right there and pick up i believe the ring of regeneration a decent item here and a big big win in that small scuffle for fly taking down a dryad as well all right having a small advantage trying to press that small advantage meanwhile infi is setting up his expansion right behind it shadow hunter blade master looking to clear things off here main base is still showing stronghold war mill getting added in and we're, we're looking really to see um, what the unit combination of fly is going to be it looks as though it is going to be uh, grunts raiders and spirit walkers with spirit link to try and spread out that damage healing wave also incredibly important to try and heal up multiple low hit point units effectively trading things here we are looking at infi taking quite a bit of damage is he going to be actually slowed he is not there is 
Well, a wind walk in order to get away. Whisk going to be brought back now over. Blade Master is nearby again. And are we going to perhaps be looking at some repairs? There's a sentry ward. And the Blade Master realizes, wait, no, I heard that sound. I know what it means. That means da I, the Blade Master is going to be taking a large amount of damage as it finally, well, turns the corner and heads back out. Wisps should be repairing that entangled gold mine already. Not quite sure why it is not. Meanwhile, Shadow Hunter creeping away from all of the action here. Going to finish off this Assassin Keeper of the Grove. Looking to finish off more units as well. As we are looking at a handful of Trents and Archers to try and take down this Kodo Beast. Kodo Beast actually eats an Archer here. There goes the Entangle as the Kodo Beast could end up getting taken down. But I believe it will just have too many hit points. Windwalk Strike onto that Blade Master here. Remainder of the Army Raider is going to be coming across. There is multiple. Well, there would have been multiple in Snares as the Disenchant chance and well digestion of that archer now panda getting ready to engage here kobold taskmaster gonna get finished off here final blow into the back no breath of fire oh there's that breath of fire true shot or a big item for um, the panda as it's gonna give uh, what 10 or a 7 percent damage bonus to all of these units um out here on the battlefield Panda does pick up, I believe, a Tome of Agility. Level 3, level 3, going up against level 3, level 3. Great Hall just now getting operational. Um, no repairs on this gold mine, though. Infi perhaps not concerned about it as the Panda now looks to retreat back. We don't see a transition into Druids of the Talon. We are going in the Tree of Eternity, um, which makes sense. Bears, uh, perhaps... Um, a, a good follow up here and and I and well I would have to say that the Players orc's ability to adapt attack. and 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 adjust his strategy is going to be the, the, the big deal here fly is getting up a second bestiary and that means he can tr transition between wind riders uh, kodos and and raiders extremely efficiently raiders with their fast movement speed and their siege damage the perfect counter to these dryads right now as well being able to prevent units from retreating has always been a very big deal 50 supply compared to 53 infi does have a slight um, slight supply advantage but it's not going to really translate into very much he needs to perhaps build on that a bit more are we going to perhaps see a hex go down as well as the panda wants to get in a bit of fights here all right there is a just a scroll of town portal envy not wanting to be in this battle at all quickly just retreats back and envy is playing this um a little bit odd and in envy doesn't seem to have a clear-cut strategy or plan on what he wants right now he's trying to engage and fly just has a very strong combination of units um, with these raiders making it difficult to try and attack him um, ensnare if you're if you're trying to do any hit and run tactics against the orc he will just ensnare um, these fast moving dryads and then pick them off pick them off slowly winning attrition over time meanwhile blade master oh are we gonna see some repairs here one wisp two wisp three wisp trying to repair here four wisp oh wi wind walk strike able to finish things off as the blade master gonna be able to retreat back here all right no easy easy repair as the goblin shredder taken out meaning that infi is well low on, on lumber harvesters since he only has 12 workers two of them being on lumber back off to the north here keeper of the grove gonna go ahead and discontinue these hit and run tactics staff of teleportation panda perhaps gonna show up to the fight here there's a breath of fire trying to cancel and, and this is one way to try to win the game. Just make sure you prevent your opponent's expansion. But with the Raiders of a Fly, the Raiders of Fly should have a very easy time of shutting down his opponent's expansions as well. Hit and run tactics here. Fly going to easily as a force a, a, well, take down this one in Tree of Life. And Fly pretty much saying to Infi, if you wanted one base, uh, one base play versus me, I will gladly do it. As we're looking at mountain giants joining out here on the ban uh, battlefield. Same Infi legendary human. Yes, same Infi legendary hero. He did choose random though. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire across all of those units here. Quick healing wave. No spirit link. A healing ward is now placed down. Dryad's not uh, unable to get to that healing ward just quite yet. Panda finally get in front of, getting in front of that. As the Brewmaster doesn't have that much mana. All right. 
Infi trying to retreat back here, but we're taking a look at those ensnares, as I mentioned. 41 supply compared to 46. Infi actually having a bit of a slight advantage. Blade Master now trying to retreat back here as well as the last heal or no more healing ward. Squirrel of Town Portal to try and get away. There goes another Dryad again. 38 supply compared to 43. Infi saying, yeah, I can do one base play. That isn't that big of a problem. Um, 39 supply army compared to 32. All right, Spirit Walker in the ethereal form, able to well, walk back home in a piece. Dryad's unable to do very much. Blade Master, perhaps going to get a wind walk strike on the low hit point. A dryad here, um, don't see that as of yet. We are looking at a mountain giant making its way over. Raiders do have the ensnare capability. And are we going to see a, a battle go down, forcing an engagement here? There's the reveal. Blade Master being forced to retreat back 47 supply compared to 47. Infi wanting to, well, perhaps get in some damage here in just a moment. More poking. There's the entangle. Blade Master, well, take, not doing all too well. Finally breaking free. Healing wave. Uh, well, only hitting that Blade Master. No other low hit point units were, in fact, nearby. All right, we're going in for that engagement. Windwalk Strike, Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, Kodo Beast could be in trouble. Down to 500 hit points. Healing Wave trying to break free once more as the Dryad finally getting taken out. Infi, um, well, Fly perhaps too focused on that low hit point unit as the Kodo Beast, well, gets blown over by fire. Infi down to 40 supply compared to 46. The Dryads are getting taken down. Mountain Giants uh, still chasing after those units as well. A big, big slow lugger just, um, yeah, as we're looking at the what that was that a staff of preservation coming in across keeper of the grove now back at home stat, potion of uh well, potion of invulnerability staff of teleportation coming back in infi here ready to go and then the panda now retreated back home as well mountain giant gonna get finished off 43 supply compared to 27 and that may be all she wrote keeper of the grove may be forced to use a scroll of town portal to head back out as the raider well still entangled not sure what it can possibly do Coming back through a new tree of life by Infi, Great Hall by Fly, um, now sitting on two bases, but mainly to try and make up for the um, the main or the main base that is going to be mined out in about four minutes. Very strong play by Fly here, as Infi is now down to 31 supply. I, I thought for a moment that Fly had focused too much energy, focusing down that half hit point Dryad, but his unit composition with uh, the preferable armor types siege going against unarmored and a piercing damage going up against medium armor really helped him out in that situation all right blade master is going to try and retreat away it does have wind wind walk and is already uh, well bustina moved ahead back out 700 gold versus 100 and 161 50 supply versus 32 fly is winning in multiple fronts and once he gets a little bit more experience could be looking at a level 5 blade master and a level 5 shadow hunter going up against a level 4 and a level 4 shadow hunter just a little bit shy here are is this going to be enough the assassins yes it is going to give shadow hunter level 5 here as that blade master also extremely close can't get much closer than that um i don't i, I don't know is there um i i, I think um, I think there actually are hidden decimals. It, it just doesn't show. So I guess you can get closer. But um, for for the sake of this well video, let's say you can't get closer than that. Blade Master, one experience shy from level five. We're going to go into an engagement. Drunken Haze, breath of fire across multiple units. And Snares now going down Keeper of the Grove, absorbing quite a bit of damage. Healing Wave bouncing around. Rejuvenation onto the Keeper of the Grove. Going to make it difficult. There's a follow-up and Snare as well as the Blade Master looking to finish off the Keeper of the Grove. Staff of Preservation saving as the Entangled Breath of Fire coming back through. The Raider not getting the heal in time as we're looking at the fight still going down. Blade Master trying to finish off something. Could easily finish off a Dryad gets an ensnare here as the Druid of the Claw going to get taken down, finally gaining level 3 to that Blade Master. Blade Master going to be perhaps turning back around. There's some more ensnares as well as the units are still trying to get away. No re rejuvenation onto a low hit point Dryad. Another rejuvenation should be in order perhaps onto the onto the Brew Master as we see a reveal here. Blade Master down to 500 hit points. Has a potion of lesser invulner or has a full potion of invulnerability as the Druid of the Claw. Well, without and not being in bear form and not having enough mana to transform quickly gets taken down only has like i believe 560 hit points and a 220 critical strike did in fact land 
All right, big damage indeed. Blade Master now looking to retreat back out. Kodo Beast is digesting a bear. 70 supply compared to 41. And there is another entangle there. There's some more roars. Bears trying to come across. Raiders trying to get in that damage as well. This Kodo Beast, there's a breath of fire trying to finish off any of those units. A tree of life once it is taken out. Well, this battle of attrition is just going to go sideways again. Kodo Beast eating another bear. There's some more healing wave as well. Panda's trying to finish things off. Squirrel of Town Portal. Are they going to retreat with two bears? It looks like it. And that scroll of town portal would have been the ceiling deal for Infi, who only had about 35 to 39 supply at the very end, taking away 8 supply back home in the belly of those two Kodo beasts. A brilliant play, very strong play by Fly, um, playing on that razor's edge, and he was trying to set up his, his second base for so long. And Infi had constantly denied him with Keeper of the Grove Harass that Infi said, you know what? If your attention is focused on my expansion, I can do the same to yours. Those hit and run tactics with Orc, especially with Raiders who, with that siege damage, taking down that tree of life and hitting the reset. I believe that was the, the turnaround point for Fly being able to get back into the game. It wasn't a, sh a slam dunk, surefire win at that point, but it did bring the game back to even. From there, Fly was able to continue to uh, make forward progress, and he did get to higher level heroes, getting to level 5 on both of his heroes before Infi even touched level 5 at all. Brilliant game, strong play by Fly. Infi, well, even with Drunken Haze well well positioned and well placed drunken haze breath of fire combo wasn't able to overcome the scrolls of healing and healing wave of that shadow hunter hope you guys learned something hope you guys enjoyed it S stick around for more warcraft 3